Hi, my name is Tommy Cook, and uh, my presentation today is on all of the viewings that we had for week 10, uh, previously week 7. The lead topic of the viewings was about the Mardi Gras Indians, and for me, I have uh, never heard of any of the Mardi Gras Indians before, so this was all very new information to me. The viewings I will be talking about today are the Berry of the Hatchet trailer, Portrait of a Chief video, photos of Uptown Sunday Parade, 42 Tribes on Week 5, and Episode 9 and Episode 10 of Treme. Uh, my initial reaction to the Mardi Gras Indians was a little bit of confusion and a little bit of wonder. I did not know exactly what was going on uh, and the terms and roles that the uh, Mardi Gras Indians have, such as Spy Boy, Flag Boy, and uh, Wild Man were a little bit confusing to me as I really didn't know the roles yet. Um, and of course there's Big Chief, which is as you would expect to be the uh, chief of the tribe. Uh, they also use the word gang a lot, which I found is a synonym for tribe or family, and not a uh, gang that we would hear in like a, a rap song or, or uh, you know, an, uh, an actual gang out in like LA or something like that. Um, and while watching the uh, Berry of the tra Ber Berry of a Hatchet trailer, I thought that was a great way to be introduced to the topic. Uh, it gave some history that I was previously unaware of, uh, saying that a lot of natives would hide runaway slaves from their slave masters, and that many Indians were actually black. Uh, and it is said that the Indian marches is not a celebration, rather a tradition to pay homage and thanks to the natives. Uh, I found this to be true while watching uh, Treme, as uh, uh, Lambro, I believe his name is, and his family worked tirelessly on their outfits. Uh, with their main focus on having the most pretty chief and uh, a lot of the uh, roles that Spy Boy and um, the Flag Boy had, uh, they kind of uh, lowered their own costumes so that uh, the chief would have a prettier um, outfit. Uh, and then um, one march uh, resulted in uh, many of the gangs fighting uh, using actual weapons such as ice picks and hatchets and I am led to assume that uh, Barry of the Trailer, or Barry of the Hatchet, um, is focusing on the rebuilding of the tribe's relationships, their respect, and uh, post all post-Hurricane Katrina. Uh, Portrait of a Chief video, uh, it starts by bringing in uh, the themes that we would see in Treme, uh, talking about bringing the community together uh, for making the Indian costumes and teaching the younger kids the importance of the tradition. Uh, I was not really surprised to find out uh, that other tribes would use the Mardi Gras Indian tradition for uh, monetary gain, because uh, that's just the history of capitalism with uh, you know, making money off things that are popular. And uh, the chief's mission in Portrait of a Chief is to uh, simply get the neighborhood to go back into participating and not go into it for any monetary value. Uh, he does not ask for any money, and he wants to push the idea of doing it for the culture, doing it for the thanks, uh, instead of trying to obtain some sort of monetary gain. Uh, photos of Uptown Super Sunday Parade, uh, they were all nice to see. Uh, everyone seemed to be having fun, everybody had very cool outfits on, um, even in the, uh, uh, I looked at a little um, excerpt, uh, I believe it was on the same website, uh, talking about if you're going to go to the parade, make sure you have a good outfit and good shoes on and be ready to have fun, essentially. Um, also, they uh, do a little bit of promotion of uh, local businesses. Um, the local business they're promoting um, that we see on our photos that we got uh, changed their name to The Silver Room, and it's actually a Chicago-based company that uh, will do events and will promote smaller Chicago artists and entrepreneurs, if you ever want to check them out. It is The Silver Room. Uh, and then 42 Tribes on week five gave us a uh, sit down with uh, Big Chief Monk uh, Boudreau, I believe his name was, who is a Choctaw Indian. Uh, I found the point that he made about not being able to speak in his uh, native tongue when he was a kid was a little disheartening uh, because if he was found uh, to be an Indian, uh, they would be forced to go out into a reservation. Uh, he then describes how the marches would have to be done in secret uh, because of past relationships with uh, local authorities. And uh, the big chief then talks about uh, the goal as the chief to be the most pretty, which is another reoccurring theme and a theme that we'll see in Treme as well. Uh, and I feel like the best way that we could learn about these is uh, these Indian is, is to just look at the episodes 9 and 10 of uh, Treme. Uh, you see the most common themes of family, uh, sticking together, money being shared, 
uh, and it's not valued as high as it is in other places like New York. Um, just being able to give money to help another friend uh, or the idea of respect and how respect is given. Um, for example, with that, uh, you know, the scene where the guy fixed the roof for absolutely no money. He wasn't even from New Orleans. He was in Texas. He was doing it out of, you know, the kindness of his own heart. And then she ended up uh, helping him out with getting a job. So money had a very interesting place uh, in, in these episodes, especially when fixing the, the grave of her son as well. Um, how, you know, uh, people work together on uh, giving her that money so that she could have that for her family. Um, I learned how uh, New Orleans treats each other, treats uh, one another uh, like it's just one giant family. Um, and this was extremely prominent when uh, Davis was comparing the differences between New York and New Orleans, uh, saying that in you know New Orleans you can have m uh, many more connections with family, many more connections with friends, um, and your city can't be compared to anywhere else, uh, especially like New York when that is so business based. Uh, so uh, work centered, um, and I think you know him having that one day to show. Uh, oh gosh, I forgot her name. Uh, everything about um, New Orleans that he loves was uh, absolutely excellent, especially with uh, the uh, duality of. Um, oh my goodness, I have to go to my notes of the other guy's name. I'm horrible with names. Uh, with the other guy, he was playing at the uh, very upscale um, uh, area. He was playing uh, a huge gig when he was when he was gambling and all that. It was a nice little duality um, between the scenes. Um, and then finally, um, another uh, heartwarming moment of the, uh, the show was when um, the Chiefs showed uh, respect for respect uh, from one another on the march. Um, that was right after uh, uh, the um, spy boy and the flag boy uh, worked more on the Chiefs costume instead of their own and they used one of their old costumes. Um, that was a very heartwarming moment, and you get to see the uh, the younger kid start to realize the importance of uh, of the uh, native. Uh, I'm sorry, of the uh, Indian tradition. Um, and then finally, when uh, the police officer stopped the uh, other police officers from attacking the chief uh, because of uh, past relations, um, it is no surprise to me that you know the, that there is a bad relationship between you know the police and. Uh, African-American culture down in um, uh, Louisiana, um, but to see that in Treme and try to see some sort of uh, change into a, uh, a better way of living down there, and uh, I, that was very heartwarming for me to see. Um, I hope I gave some sort of fun insight on, uh, on all of this stuff. Um, it was very interesting to learn about, and uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching.